All right, good day everyone. So once again, welcome back to this YouTube channel, Casaligan Vlogs. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be talking about cofunction identities. So it's all about trigonometry. So what is cofunction identities? So based on definition, trigonometric identities involving showing the relationship between sine and cosine tangent and cotangent, second and cosecant, the value of trigonometric function of an angle equals the value of the cofunction of the complement of the angle. So we to say we're going to talk about the cofunction to its complement of the angle. So let us have cofunction identities. So these are the cofunction identities in regions and degrees. So take note that sine 90 degrees minus x is equal to cos x and cos 90 degrees minus x is equal to sine x. So pi over 2 that is equal to 90 degrees. So those are uh, the cofunction identities when it comes to regions and degrees. So we have here the concept of cofunction identities. What do you mean by cofunction identities? So let us have illustration here in this example. So we will name this one as R theta. All right. So this, if this is R theta, so if this is uh, 90 degrees, so this is 90. So therefore, if this is theta, of course, its complement is equal to 90 degrees minus the theta. So the angle of this one is equal to 90 degrees minus theta. So let us assume this. We will look for sine. So example, we have here sine theta. So sine theta is equal to the opposite, which is A, and the hypotenuse, which is C. So we need to find the cofunction of its complement angle. So with my cofunction, the same function is yeah. So if we have here A over C, so therefore we need to find the same rule with this one as A over C. So if this is our angle that we're going to use for the cofunction identities, so we need to find a function that the same function with A over C. So let us have first this one, A over C. So what may A over C? If this is A adjacent and this is the hypotenuse so therefore the cofunction of this one is cosine 90 degrees minus the theta is equal to adjacent which is a over c so therefore the cofunctions of the cofunction of sine theta is equal sine theta is equal to 90 degrees minus theta which is in cosine because if that is in here the sine sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. If this would be the angle, this would now be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The function which compose or which has the ratio of adjacent over the hypotenuse is only for cosine and the angle that we're going to use is its complement of the angle here, theta. So therefore, sine theta is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus theta because they are a over c and a over c so take note that is called function let us have first if we will look for cosine theta if cosine theta is equal to adjacent which is b over b over c so we have to find a cofunction here that has the same function with b over c so what is b if this is the angle this is opposite over the hypotenuse so therefore we'll make it of sine so 90 degrees minus the theta so the the function of this one is b over c so therefore we can say that cosine theta is equal to sine 90 degrees minus theta because they are now the same with b over c so this is sine theta is equal to 90 degrees minus theta and cosine theta is equal to sine 90 degrees minus theta. 
So this is the concept all about cofunction identities. The same way with other functions, the tangent and so on. So that's all about cofunction identities. All right. So we have here expressed the following into its cofunction less than 45 degrees. So we have here sine 75 degrees. So we need to find a cofunction with this one. If sine 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 theta its cofunction is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus the theta. So that is the cofunction to this one. So therefore sine 75 degrees is equal to cosine of 90 degrees minus 75 degrees. So sine 75 degrees is equal to cosine of we have 15 degrees. So if we're going to calculate that one using calculator, so sine 75 degrees is equal to cosine 15 degrees. Okay, try to look at. Okay, so the same result with sine 75 degrees and cosine 15 degrees. So let us have cosine 87 degrees. So cosine 87 degrees. So its cofunction to this one is cosine is equal to sine 90 degrees minus 87 degrees. So cosine 87 degrees is equal to sine 3 degrees. So this is the answer. If we're going to calculate that one, same result with here. Okay, so number three. So we have here tangent 89 degrees and 30 minutes. So the cofunction of tangent is equal to cot tangent 90 degrees minus 89 degrees 30 minutes. So therefore, tangent 89 degrees and 30 minutes is equal to cot tangent 30 minutes. So that's the answer. So take note, so it's cofunction. So we're going to make use that one using less than 45 degrees. So cot 30 minutes only. Because 90 degrees minus 89 degrees, 30 minutes, that would have 30 minutes. Okay, so find the values of the unknown quantities which satisfy the following equations. So sine 3x is equal to cos 7x. So first thing that we're going to do is we need to find the cofunction of this one. So well, let's have first sine 3x is equal to cos 7x. So if we have to change any, any of this part, so let us have first, if we're going to change this part, so we have uh, this part. So sine 3x is equal to, what is the cofunction of this one? Cos, cos theta is equal to sine 90 degrees minus theta. So this is the cofunction of this one. So therefore, we have here sine 90 degrees minus 7x, which is r theta. So since the same sign, so we could say that we could now equate that 3x. It satisfies now that 3x is equal to 90 degrees minus 7x. So we have here 10x is equal to 90 degrees. So x is equal to... 9 degrees. So this is the value of x which satisfy the given. So this part of here. Next, if we're going to make use of this part as the change, so if you're going to change first this sign here, so sign, the cofunction of sign, if we're going to have sign x, sine theta is equal to cosine theta 90 degrees minus the theta so if we're going to make use of this one so cosine 90 degrees minus 3x is equal to 
cosine 7x. So therefore, we have here 90 degrees minus 3x is equal to 7x. So 10x, same here, we have here 90 degrees. So x is equal to 9 degrees. So same process, same result, if we're going to move this one or this part. Okay, this is number 1. So let's see it with number 2. In number 2, cosine 6y is equal to sine 2y plus 18 degrees. So we are going to move this one here, cosine. So cosine is equal to sine 90 degrees minus 6y is equal to sine 2y plus 18 degrees. So now, so we have here the same sign here. So we have 90 degrees minus 6y and sine 2y plus 18 degrees. So we could now, the fact here that it satisfied the equation is a 6y is equal to 2y plus 18 degrees. So now we are going to combine. So we have here 90 degrees minus 18 degrees is equal to 8y. So we have here 72 degrees is equal to 8y. y is equal to 9 degrees. So if we're going to substitute that one using the calculator, the same result will have. So next we have here number 3. So in number 3, tangent 30 degrees plus 10a is equal to cot 5a. Alright. So we have here tangent 90 degrees cot 5a. Okay, so we have here, if you're going to move this one, cotangent is equal to tangent 30 degrees plus 10a is equal to cotangent is equal to tangent 90 degrees minus 5a. That is 30 degrees plus 10a is equal to 90 degrees minus 5a. So if we're going to simplify that one, the result of this part, a here is equal to 4 degrees. Okay, so by simplification. So in number 4, sine 25 degrees plus 3b is equal to cosine 35 degrees plus 7b okay so if we're going to change this part so if we change this part so we have cosine 90 degrees minus 25 degrees minus 3b is equal to cosine 35 degrees plus 7b. So if we're going to simplify this one, so this is 90 minus 25, that is equal to 65. So 65 degrees, 65 degrees minus 3b, is equal to 35 degrees plus 7b. Okay, so 65, if we're going to change this one here, and this is one here, so 35 degrees and 65, if we're going to subtract this, so 35, 65, the remaining is 30 degrees is equal to 10b. So our b here is, is equal to 3 degrees. Okay? So because 30 degrees over 10, that is equal to 3 
degrees. So that's all about this part. Finding the values of unknown quantities. So next is simplify. So if we're going to simplify this part, so same way with simplification. So cosine 90 degrees minus theta cot theta. So this is number 1. So cosine theta minus 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta times cot theta. So sine theta, that is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. So cancel this part. So the remaining is cosine theta. So this is the result. For number two, we have here four cosine theta squared second theta cot 90 degrees minus theta. So we have here four cosine squared theta second theta cot is equal to tangent theta. So we have here four cosine squared theta sec is equal to one over cos theta. And tangent is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So if this is cos times cos is equal to cos squared. So cancel this part here. So the remaining of this part is 4 sine theta. Because this here sine theta. So that is number 2. In number 3, so 2 cosine theta squared. This is cot. 90 degrees minus theta squared cosecant theta cubed. So we have here cot cos 2 cosine squared theta. So we have here 2 cosine squared theta and cot theta is equal to tangent theta. And 1 over uh, cosecant theta cos second theta is equal to 1 over sine theta cubed here so therefore 1 over sine cube theta cube here. this is cube theta so 2 cosine squared theta we're going to have this part as uh, this is squared so therefore this is squared so sine squared theta over cosine squared theta over 1 over sine cube theta. So cancel this part 1 here. The remaining is sine theta. This is canceled. So therefore 2 over 1 over sine theta. 2 over 1 over sine theta is equal to 2 cosecant theta. So this is the answer. So try this at home. Okay, find the value of a known quantity which satisfies the equation. Cosecant theta, 2 theta plus 60 degrees is equal to second, 4 theta minus 36 degrees. And simplify tangent theta, cos theta squared, minus tangent quantity 90 degrees minus theta, sine theta quantity squared. So make sure to answer it once. So I hope everyone you're listening with my discussion. God bless and do not forget to subscribe and share this one if you feel that I have discussed it well to you. So thank you so much and God bless everyone.